on in the history of the program, I think it was 1994, um, the Robert Bound Foundation, I, I, I think they put out a call for proposals, I think. Actually, I wasn't the director at the time, I was the art teacher and site coordinator, and I think we had like 20 children. <laughs> so um, I, I don't remember exactly how it came about, but I remember going to a meeting um, with other after school programs to learn about the Robert Bound Foundation. And, um, and I remember that Diane Kangaser came and visited our program and I was doing an arts activity with children. And um, of course the Bound Foundation was interested in a holistic approach to literacy building and um, that fit very well with what we were doing um, already at Arts and Literacy. But we were kind of operating in the dark. Um, I mean, I was the art teacher and I, um, I, I started doing arts projects with children and I, of course, noticed that a lot of them were having trouble reading and writing and um, I started integrating reading and writing into the arts projects. And I, it's not that I read about anyone else doing it, I just kind of felt that that would be a good idea. And I didn't really have a framework or support for the work in terms of develop, thinking about it or developing it. Um, and the Bound Foundation really provided that. Um, I remember from the very, that just Diane coming and observing and commenting and being interested and having opinions about what we were doing um, felt really affirming and um, kind of reinforced our sense that what we were doing was important and helped us be able to focus and redirect it because we were on, under very different pressures from different funders at the time. They really supported us experimenting. They didn't expect immediate results. They didn't expect us to take a model and implement it regardless of how the um, children or families were functioning or what we saw the needs to be. They were really interesting in, interested in creating a dialogue. And teaching artists come with a, that, a, that knowledge of sort of the spectrum of what they can do and use and the practice of creativity so they can be so they can be responsive. Plus they tend to have passions and interests and projects of their own um, so that they can model that kind of enthusiasm. And this notion of modeling enthusiasm, modeling passion um, is very important to us because we really want the kids themselves to be inspired and see what it's like to be inspired. So who thinks they can count the be? In numbers like one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. I should say that the Bound Foundation has been very helpful because it's helped us develop develop systems. Um, to help teaching artists think about how to integrate literacy. Um, and we have a lesson plan format, and we ask teaching artists to think about a number of very long, multi-syllabic, SAT-type words that they can teach using um, their art form. Because we want kids to sort of overcome the fear of multi-syllabic words, and we also ask them to speak with daytime teachers and get a sense of what vocabulary they're learning during the day that we can reinforce. Those words tend to be shorter. Um, and um, we also ask them to identify a number of skills and concepts that they want to teach. We have a portfolio review um, that we use for each child in um, that's enrolled. And through a rotation, you'll kind of assess um, what's going on. At the beginning, teachers will have a set of vocabulary that this is the vocabulary that I hope to um, use and impart to my students during, during the rotation, as well as other skills I would really like to share with them. And um, at the end of the rotation, you'll assess. And it's assessment just as much for yourself as it is for the child to see, well, did I, did I communicate in such a way that the students understand the vocabulary that they're using in conversation? Do, do they have these skills now? Are they skills that they really get? Um, do they understand this vocabulary word only as it applies to dance, or do they get it in a bigger sense? One of the very important things that this program does is engages children 
in learning makes them feel that learning can be fun and exciting and meaningful. And that is directly connected to bounds, attitude, or, or support of holistic learning and the connection between um, the, the person and what's important to them and the activities that happen in the classroom. I should also mention that a big part of our program is the presentation um, at our family art night. So each six week session where the kids meet with teaching artists daily culminates in a presentation for parents. And so there are about five a year. And one of them is actually outdoors at our annual Children's Street Festival, which is actually the park now, used to be on the street. And um, this experience of, oh, I made something, and people are interested in it, and my parents are interested in it, and I'm, you know, I'm being applauded, and um, learning the ability to present one's own work and not be afraid to, to stand on stage and not be afraid to speak on stage, um, and having that, that sense of importance and like one's own, one's projects being important, but also that confidence to present, um, I think is a key part of the arts projects and the arts process to have um, a final goal. For each school year, we have a week-long training for um, all staff, returning or new, and um, we also have a week-long training before summer camp for all staff, new or returning. And it's one of the things that we always say at the beginning. This is, this is our philosophy. Our philosophy is that we think kids can do really big and ambitious things if we present them with the opportunity in a structured way. There were times I know early on in my work here where it kind of felt very isolated, not from, not from my fellow teachers in the program, but from any other people. Not, being able to go to networking meetings and, and speak with and talk with other people who are doing similar work has been so helpful. It's, it, you feel supported, um, encouraged, and then getting ideas from people who value the same work and knowing that there are other, other souls out there working just as hard has been really helpful. That's one of my favorite things is um, going to networking meetings and that opportunity to just share and talk with other people. I mean, the legacy of BAM is as long as arts and literacy are around, it's definitely alive because there are key elements of the program that wouldn't necessarily exist without the influence of the Bound Foundation. Without the support, I know the support early on of just saying the work you're doing is the right work, is good work, <laughs> keep doing this work. That, that kind of support, um, yeah, that, that's huge. And 